Hello spirit family and welcome back. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I'm your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. And today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Geminis for July 2019. Now this general reading is going to cover love, career, your soul story, what's going on for July. I hope you guys like my setup today. I am out here off grid on top of a mountain in the Appalachians. It's very nice out here. I am barefoot. I have my feet on some really nice luscious moss. You can hear the birds chirping, the mountain breeze. I feel so at peace here, okay? it's. I feel like your readings is going to be a little bit more intuitive just because I am just connecting. There are, There's no cell phone service, no electricity, no running water. You know, there's a few cabins on this mountain here, but they're so far off I can't even hear or see anybody. It's very nice. I love it. So last year I did some readings like this and you had some spirit animals. I think you guys had either the crow or the woodpecker appear in your reading last, I think August it was, I was able to do some readings out here. So we're going to just, if I see anything, I'm going to call it out. Or if we hear anything different than the birds that we've been hearing throughout this whole video, I will mention it, okay? So it's going to be a little bit more than just a card reading. We're going to use Mother Nature's divination tools here, guys, okay? I also have a giveaway healer's basket that includes a salt lamp, tarot cards, tapestries, incense, sage, all of that. I'll tell a little bit more about that later. All you have to do is subscribe and share you'll see the rules below too as well but we'll talk about that later right now i want to talk about the solar and lunar eclipses in july okay so we have a little bit more going on for july than we usually do okay so we have on the second we have a solar eclipse in cancer oh do you see that b <laughs> you just had a b appear on your screen here guys you you might have seen that it was a little a little blurry so I guess you guys have a spirit animal as a bee, which I actually do have that in this tarot deck here. So if you guys want to comment below and learn a little bit more about the bee as your spirit animal, I, feel free. I love, I love chatting with you guys. This channel is international. I love hearing where you're from and your story. Okay, guys, or do the information on your own, okay? So a bee so far. <laughs> that was cute. He just wanted to check you guys out. Okay, but so we do have that solar eclipse in Cancer on the 2nd. That should bring a little bit more of family life back into, you know, play. Maybe working out the kinks with what's going on with your kids or, you know, your family, your husband, your spouse, whatever it might be. Okay, and also a little bit of your finances too. And you with, with the lunar eclipse, okay, we have two eclipses for July, yes. On the 16th, we have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn rules responsibilities, okay? Okay, what you can and cannot do and your willpower so you're gonna see a change with things like that that might bring more of a career side people might be a little bit more on edge for the lunar eclipse because lunar eclipse are very inner inner emotional it doesn't just affect you guys it affects everybody okay so just be aware of that use it to your advantage though okay all right my Gemini's so let's see here and we do have a retrograde Mercury is going retrograde in Leo on the 7th, but it turns direct on the 31st, okay? And there's a new moon in Leo the same day, okay, on the 31st. So a lot going on, but chaos brings change, okay, guys? All right, so let's read from the original Rider Waite deck here. I might be pulling one from the angels or one from the fairies. I'm not quite sure. I have been rolling with more of the fairies because we are out in a very earth element. Okay, the mountains, guys. And fairies do represent the earth side of things. Okay, the earth element. All right. And on top of a mountain, you know, you guys are an earth sign. My Geminis. Okay, so this mountain breeze might be here to tell you something. Okay. So I am a Virgo, so I share the same ruler planet you guys do. So I can I can really relate to the chaos of the retrogrades and kind of, you know, thinking one thing and then moving on to another project or going back to an old one, moving on to a new one, you know. I understand that type of mindset and um, I think sometimes we might be in a good position to kind of hover over different projects, you know, back and forth. We're very attentive to details. So I think, you know, for Virgos and Geminis, those retrogrades, 
kind of make it work for you, not against you, okay? Just be aware of your ruler planet cycle, guys, okay? All right, so this card is definitely jumping out to me. I'm really loving being out here, guys. Maybe this is a sign that you guys need to go out and connect with Mother Nature, get some grounding on, whether it's just a day at the lake or the beach, camping, a quick hike, whatever you guys can fit in, okay? Just fit in something. It's very important, Gemini, okay? Enjoy the good weather. Ooh, all right. All right. I'm getting some good news here, apparently. I haven't flipped over the first card, which I guess I will now. Ooh, guys, we have the Empress card. <gasps> that is such a good card to have, you guys. Look at the beauty behind it. This is really, you know, a very fruitful, a very earth-oriented, a very feminine card, the Empress. Maybe some of you guys need to hone in the spirit of the Empress. For some of you guys who are trying to conceive, I know this doesn't really go for all of you guys. I know some of you guys watching are trying to, you know, run your luck with a baby and haven't really been seeing it lately. You know, having the Empress card definitely is a symbol of pregnancy. Maybe for some of you guys who are not really looking to conceive, but maybe participating in risky behavior, maybe we need to back off a little bit. Okay, think about protection, guys. Okay, this is serious. But overall, rule with that feminine side. You are beautiful no matter what shape, color, size that you are. All right, Gemini, so rule with it. Okay. Okay, for some of my males out there, if you are single, you're going to have a very beautiful lady walk into your life soon. Okay, she's going to be young, she's going to be outgoing, she's going to want to travel and, you know, do those nature things that I've been talking about. Maybe you'll meet somebody along those ways. Okay, very beautiful card. You can see even Mother Nature is just shining on her letting you know that you need to hone in the spirit of the empress or for some of you guys your empress is on the way okay for some of my mothers out there this could be you know about your younger daughter maybe you guys are you know getting a grandbaby soon or maybe your daughter is achieving things in life that she's dreamed so congratulations you know comment below if any of you guys are experiencing some things you want to talk about and celebrate on this channel Okay, so I'm going to pull one more card. So, so far you guys are having a turn up. I think you guys are going to use all these eclipses to really adjust things in your life and move forward in a new direction, a new path, you know, new relationship, career, education, course of study, whatever it might be. You guys are, this is your time to really approach those things. Gemini, don't, don't let them, don't let slip through your fingers, okay? Having the... Six of Wands here, it, that's also one of my favorite cards because you could just see it's pure joy, okay? He's riding out in triumph. People are celebrating him, you know, supporting him. You might see support from people in your life, you know, closest to you that you haven't seen or, you know, maybe from different groups, okay? Maybe it's your spiritual holistic group in your community or maybe it's your church or, you know, something to do with kids. Do something you love. I know my Geminis, you guys are <clears throat> the ones to step out on that soapbox, to write that blog, to, you know, um, do the newspaper, something community related. Get out there, be a spokesman. You guys are the cheerleaders, come on. You know, speak about what's important, you know. If you have something about the environment that, you know, your local community could be doing something better, change it, okay? Think in small numbers, think, think local, okay? You're saving the world by changing your local community. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. So for some of my ladies out there who are single, there is going to be a young man who is very career-oriented, um, very optimistic about his business plans or his education um, coming into your life, okay? This could even maybe represent a brother, a sibling, a cousin, um, a younger figure that maybe you need to take some mentoring off of too as well for some of you guys. This is a message for my other people out there. You're going to be getting a promotion. There's going to be a new income 
a new new flow of income okay maybe this is also a small inheritance a small scholarship um something something along those lines so other in all in all it's really good news coming to you the page of pentacles you hear at the end of your reading i mean honestly you guys have a reading that is just a very optimistic very positive maybe if you guys are aren't really in that place in your life maybe we need to take that mindset in if you're not quite there yet with a more sense of hopeful utopia life around the corner you know you're being optimistic for some of you guys who don't have that that are still on the darker side of things you know comment below you know join the family you know join a live stream get out there in your community and just do things small things every day to change your way of life whether it's just simple things like starting to drink more water cutting out sugars definitely i always recommend meditating okay meditating is very important for everybody of any age okay just because you start meditating doesn't mean something's wrong in your life or whatever i know it is it takes a little bit to you know start to get in the gear of meditating i have a lot of people that say you know oh vera i married I, I meditated once it didn't help well no it's it's something you have to do more than once you have to do it every day for a while to start to see the benefits and the benefits i'm telling you are massive and people around in your life will even notice the change so it's not something like a one and done it didn't help that doesn't work okay and it takes a while to you know kind of train your body your mind your spirit into the meditation cycle you should do it twice a day every day for 20 minutes guys it's life-changing okay for your mind body and soul i'm telling you it's there's research about it look it up okay maybe this is what you need to vlog about i don't know all right gemini's okay so i'm definitely thinking one from the fairies here mm, i love your card reading it's so hopeful you know sometimes i do get ones that show a little bit more of the pain side and i'm not saying that any of you guys aren't feeling that but this is a very hopeful hopeful july you know it might turn into a great summer and you know lead into just a better lifestyle all right so one from the fairies for my Gemini's. Why 2019? Ooh, a sun. Your sun is watched over and protected as he explores his world there you go look how beautiful that is some of you um you know might not have children this this card can just represent maybe your inner child it could represent somebody around you who has had a child that has impacted your life or impacted their life positively this could be a grandson this could represent a lot of different younger male you know youthful aspects of things okay i love this card it is so beautiful i actually um i got this card earlier i was doing a card reading for myself and i got this card and i do have a little boy and it's just something to just it warms a mother's heart to get a card like this okay your son is watched over and protected as he explores this world because we all know Mothers out there, sons, you know, they are just literally just exploring everything, you know, everything and anything. Little scientists out there. Look at that little frog, it's so cute. I love this card. You can see it on there. There we go. The cute little fairy boy. <laughs> All right, my Geminis. I will zoom in on the cards then. So yeah, I hope to see you guys for a live stream, you know, get yourself a free reading. I do free readings from time to time on the live streams. Um, I've been bringing spiritual studies more to the channel. I have different uh, videos that are starting to come on this channel about like stage sticks or, you know, meditation, holistic expos, just a bunch of different spiritual studies that if I can find myself able to document and put a little facts into it, some editing, you know, I'll put it on my channel. I'm not afraid. I want to expand this channel. I have a goal by my birthday, August 31st, to have eight 8,000 subscribers. So I wanted to talk about the giveaway. 
It's uh, Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Souls one year anniversary and it was in April. This channel has grown more than I ever thought it would and I am so proud of myself and you know people in my life who have been supporting me and my subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you. We definitely are a family and you can feel that aspect on the live streams. So if you guys want to join the community you know subscribe ring that notification bell because that'll tell you when I'm you know currently going live that way you guys can jump on jump on that chat it's a lot of fun i have a gift basket i'll put a picture of the gift, gift basket at the end of this video because obviously i'm off grid i didn't really <laughs> feel like carrying it up here it's um very heavy because it's got a salt lamp it's got all kinds of good stuff sage incense tapestry you know it's uh, its own there's a very own original white um tarot deck i know a lot of people want to start reading their own tarot and i love giving away free decks as some of you guys know from time to time to kind of jumpstart people's you know divination and you know just playing around with tarot and just seeing different side of things i love seeing it just spark people so i have the giveaway so all you have to do is subscribe share on any instant any social media i'm not big on the social media i don't have instagram or twitter or anything like that i do have a facebook which you can find the link for spiritual findings with a gypsy souls facebook below but so just share it out there. You know, I'm manifesting my dreams. I love doing these giveaways. It's always fun. I'm doing the drawing on July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern time. You guys can jump on the live stream. You know, if you don't end up getting the gift basket, I will be doing free readings up until I pull the name. I Right now, I have about 10 people on the list. So there is a really good chance for you guys to win this. And it's a very cute uh, gift basket. Unfortunately, I am only mailing it to those within the States because it is very heavy. <laughs> and I'm not quite at the point where I can, you know, just ship it to anywhere. So I am just keeping it to uh, my subscribers in the States. But, you know, once the channel does get bigger and better, I will be doing giveaways that are international because they are so much fun. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. You guys have a beautiful July.